everybody I hope you're all doing well In this cooking video We will be making A holiday pavlova So let me tell you a little bit about this pavlova I've never even heard about it before The first time I tried it was when my sister visited Finland and Manu's mom was so sweet and she made us this beautiful, refreshing dessert Pavlova is a cake made of meringue and it's topped with whipped cream, heavy whipped cream, so homemade uh, berries of her choice, um, pistachio nuts, and a drizzle of we're, we're using cranberry juice for the holidays and it was just the most light, refreshing, delicious tasting thing I've ever had so that was about two years ago and we just thought about it recently because we were like, what was that thing? let's make it and then we found it <laughs> so happy so today I'm going to walk you through and show you how I made it This is actually my first time making pavlova um, But you can't really go wrong with meringue um, So yeah, I hope that you might enjoy watching it Learn a few new techniques And um, try find a new dessert that you guys might like so, stay tuned and let's get started Start by preheating the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit And then trace a circle around the parchment paper So that our cake won't flow over Ensuring that everything is dry, we'll only make sure that your meringue is a success. on the eggshells when you crack them We will be using three egg whites Making sure everything is dry We're going to separate the eggs Egg whites from the egg yolks And you can save your egg yolk a delicious flan later You could do the technique I'm using which is very old-fashioned Transferring the egg yolk from one shell to the other straining out all the whites Or you can take very clean and dry hands and scooping out the yolk from Again, make sure your eggs are room temperature before you start mixing You can always place your eggs 
in lukewarm water or just set it out for at least 30 minutes. Take 3 eighths teaspoon cream of tartar and we're going to pour it straight over the egg white. Take that pinch and pour it over the egg whites as well. And now we can start mixing on medium high for about four minutes till the egg whites become fluffy, bubbly and perhaps double in size. While still mixing with your other hand, multitask if you can or not. And pour in 6-8 teaspoon of vanilla liquid. Slowly into your egg white mix. Now slowly add one tablespoon at a time. Add the sugar to the egg whites while beating on high. Your egg whites are going to expand, become fluffy, and also very sticky. Try to have patience here. I was beating the mixture for 20 minutes straight before you see any consistency changes such as this. So don't give up. Just have patience. the mixture for 20 minutes, you'll start seeing peaks that don't fall when you press down on the mixture, such as this tall one. Now, we will take a 
spatula and pour the mixture on the parchment paper. You see how it doesn't fall at first? That's a good sign. This bowl is so heavy. I've had it for 15 years. I don't know why I still keep it. Now, start spreading the fluff on the paper, not going over the circle that you made. This was my favorite part. So I hope you enjoy the visuals and any sounds. Feel free to taste your egg white mixture. Just make sure you expectorate after so that you don't eat any raw egg whites. I was trying to figure out what to do next. Move the camera, keep stirring, multitasking, baking, and filming. <laughs> this is what it looks like on top. I like the little divots in the mixture because it is where we will be placing the food and the frosting. And now it goes in the oven. Turn it down to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to keep it here for about two hours. I throw the shells on my plants because it's supposed to be good for it. And I also throw the remaining sugar left over for the bees. Here's my plant, Bernie. He used to live in my room, but now he's quite overgrown it. Now we will deshell the pistachios for the topping. Use salt free if you have any. These always remind me of the, uh, the Super Mario plants, the carnivorous plants. So we'll just be taking them out. They're really good.
This could totally be an entire video on its own. <laughs> in the oven as long as you can to let it dry out. It will be crispy on the outside but still very marshmallowy on the inside. And a little beige color is just fine. For the frosting, mix two cups heavy whipping cream with sugar to taste. I think I may have had about three four or even five tablespoons of sugar. I like heavy whipping cream better than the whipped cream from a can. It just tastes so much more organic and delicious. And you can also control the sweetness level of it. My mom also suggested a splash of vanilla. So we added about one sixteenth of a teaspoon of vanilla. Have patience here. Again, I was beating the whipped cream for about five minutes to give it that consistency that we like, that will not melt, and will stay. For the toppings, we have raspberries, blueberries, frosting, peaches, pistachios, and cranberry sauce. I had my sister help me with this part because I had a really bad stomach ache from crab I had over lunch. I guess I'm allergic. We're just going to place the fruits however we like on top. Mm. A medley of peaches and raspberries are my favorite, along with strawberries, but we already had quite the selection of fruits today. It's looking so good, and this is serving a table drizzling with pistachios and also crushed almonds. And finally, cranberry sauce, and serve immediately. I actually tried this again 8 hours later, and I actually liked the texture better. The flavor settled. The frosting fused with the cake to turn into a fluffy, melt-in-your-mouth, marshmallow cotton candy. I really hope you guys liked watching this cooking video. Comment to let me know what else you'd like to see. What other dish you'd like make. Enjoy the pavlova and I hope you eat it with me at the dinner table. <laughs> Bye everybody. Stay tuned for more holiday cooking.